All right, uh, 20 minutes after 9 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, I think it's looking pretty nice out there right now. So those of you who are looking at your gardens and saying, okay, maybe now I'll go outside and mess with it. Uh, Lori, Lori Williams is on the phone with us right now, and she is from Bob Wines Community Gardens and Nursery. Just ignore whatever sound that was happening in my headset. Uh, Lori, good morning, Lori. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you guys this morning? The world feels like it's getting back to normal, doesn't it? Oh, my gosh, does it not? Yesterday was such a beautiful day. Yeah. I, I, it looks like the weather's going to be really nice for the next couple of weeks or so, so that's a good thing. Everybody, everybody who's not from down here but is visiting from up north, they say, you, you are <laughs> complaining way too much about the cold. <laughs> <laughs> but but it, it, it disrupts our way of life, doesn't it? It, it really does. It's, it so does. We're so over this cold weather and all the colds and everything that everybody has. So ready for it to get back to normal. I know. That, that, that bird bath I got from you is, uh, is waiting for some birds. I don't know when they're going to come back. But <laughs> 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 wait, it's waiting for some birds. It's got some nice fresh water in it. And every, but there you the, go. But, you know, it sits right next to a, uh, what I have, a banana plant. And that thing is history. Right? That thing is gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's yeah. horrible it'll, looking. It'll, it'll come. It, it looks horrible, but it will come back. So there's hope for it. But you don't, you know, you don't want to do any trimming on anything right now. You just want to let everything stay. Oh, really? A lot of people call me, call me, asking me about, you know, what should I do? My hibiscus looks bad. My bougainvillea. What, what do I need to do? And right now, we just kind of want to let everything be. Don't do any trimming or anything to it. You know, we need to give it a little bit more time. Make sure we're not going to have any more cold weather because if you start trimming your stuff back and we have more cold weather, it'll do more damage than good. Yeah, yeah, and we might still have cold weather, right? What do you think? Yeah, yeah. There's, I mean, there's still a chance of it, but it doesn't look like, you know, if we have it, it'll probably be the next full moon. That seems to be when it's the coldest for us. Is on next full moon. Full moon, really? So yeah, I, yeah. That's like a farmer's almanac kind of thing. So that stuff is true, huh? Yeah, it's it is. It, it really is true. So. We, we get the Farmer's Almanac people on once a year. I wonder when they're going to call in this year. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll say you. Yeah, know, it sure would. You know, Lori believes in you, I'm going to say. So Lori believes in what well, you there guys There you want. go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about uh, planting things, though? You talk about not cutting oh, yeah. things back. Yeah. Can you plant things? Oh, yeah, you can plant stuff. You know, there's a lot of stuff that the cold weather's not going to bother that you could do. And, you know, it's really crazy because last week, that coldest day that we had, we were really busy at the nursery. People were in buying stuff. They're just, I think everybody's kind of tired of the cold weather and wanting to work in their yards and stuff. So, and there's a number of things that you can plant. Like we still have our azaleas on sale. Azaleas would do good this time of year. And camellias, you can never go wrong with camellias because they bloom all in the wintertime. They're absolutely gorgeous right now. We've got, you know, red ones, white ones, pink ones, some that only get about two feet tall some that will get taller so there's a lot of different things that you can still do in the yard so really you don't, uh, wanna, don't let the cold weather stop you you know uh, do you have advice on how people can make those fancy uh, topiary things like maybe do, do you have those kind of viney things where you can make like valentine's since valentine's day is coming up and training plants yeah, there's a number of different things that we'll have for Valentine's Day, you know, and there's and there's some stuff that you can that we have that are already formed into topiaries and and spirals and you know different things like that and roses. We still we've got a lot of roses right now. We'll have more roses coming in for Valentine's Day, but and gardenias and um, a lot lot of stuff that you can do for Valentine's Day. So now I have a qu- I have a question for you. How come bakeries only put roses on birthday cakes? How come they don't ever put like daisies or or something else? <laughs> They always put- I don't know. I, I, I guess it's just, you know, it's just that's what most people want on them. But I'm sure if you told them that you wanted a daisy or, oh, you know, or be a challenge. daisy faces or something. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Be what, more of a challenge for them. But be what, different and nice. When is Bob Wine's birthday? When is his birthday? We'll send him a birthday cake with, with camellias. We'll go to Publix. We'll say, there you go. Okay, instead of roses, can you put camellias <laughs> on here? <laughs> and they'll look at you and say, what are you talking about? When, when is his birthday? <laughs> no. That would be fun, wouldn't Bob, it? His birthday. His- his birthday is in December, so we missed ah, his birthday. Oh, man. It was actually uh, <laughs> December 29th. I, I wish so. I had this idea a couple of months ago. Wouldn't that <laughs> yeah, have been cool? Yeah, exactly. That would have been kind of cool. Are you good at that stuff? I mean, can you do frosting that looks like things? Oh, not me. No? <laughs> me either. But no. don't, don't you like the frosting? No. I, I, I love when you get a I piece can, of cake you know, and, can... and you get the roses. I love that. <laughs> yeah. uh, can, yeah. uh, are, are people starting to plant seeds now for spring vegetable gardens? Yeah, they prob- probably now you can start your seeds to get them started. Uh, we don't carry any seeds, but we carry, we will have, you know, probably, 
I would say middle of February, you know, first of March, we'll start getting into four packs of vegetables, tomatoes, peppers, stuff like that. But, you know, even earlier than that, we'll probably have collards and cabbage and, you know, some of the more hearty, you know, vegetables that you can do. But ours are the starter plants. So you get like four plants in a pack as opposed to having to start them from seed. Oh, and how big are those? Do you, do you have to keep them in your, inside of your house or can you put them right in the ground? Yeah, if you you know if you if you do them now and you do tomatoes and peppers and stuff, those you would want to keep inside or keep in the greenhouse or something, you know. But if you, if you do like collard and cabbage and broccoli and cauliflower stuff like that, you could put that out right now because the cold weather would bother it. Did you know that cold blooded animals and plants both don't get fat? They, they, there's no obese plant in the on the planet. There's no obese lizard really? on the planet. Yeah, there's no fat birds on the planet. Yeah, that's just, I guess true. Did you know that? I, there are some. There, there are some fat cats and dogs, though. Yeah, but they're warm-blooded. Yeah, warm-blooded oh, animals. Is that what it is? Yeah. That's what it yeah. Is. Well, I was. We had the story this morning about the Formula One race car drivers. They have to be weighed. Right. The more they weigh, the the, the slower the car is going to go, which explains why Robin gets every place before me. <laughs> 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 and I and I was thinking, too bad God didn't make humans cold blooded. We could eat as much as we wanted to, just a lot of seeds That's and right. bugs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how, uh, um, what about people that have um, the lighting on the outside of their houses, the landscape lighting? Because some plants that you have, they open up when the sunshine comes, and then they close up and go to sleep at night. Does that confuse the plants? Um, not usually, because usually when you have those landscaping lights, you put them on your bigger, you know, more prolific plants that you want to feature, and those are usually, you don't have to worry about anything like that with them, you know, you know, poinsettias, stuff like that have to have a long night, so you have to be careful where you plant those, you know, if there's an outside light or something that hits them, they're not going to color up and be colorful at Christmas time, and then there's some different perennials and stuff that will close at night, open up in the morning, um, and though you don't usually have your landscape lights on, so you don't really have to worry about it too much. Are you just getting over the cold or the flu? Oh my goodness, I'm trying to get over it. Oh, it's not <laughs> it th- seems to be. It seems I don't know. I don't know yeah, I, I, I don't. <laughs> I'm not just, done yet. Uh, yeah, I've, I've had it. I know. A while. It's, it's like you, th- you think you think you're over, it and then all of a sudden it hits you back again. So. Yeah. And did you have a very it's successful fun. Saturday? Yeah. We, yes, uh, we did. We had Mr. George's ministry on Saturday downtown behind the courthouse. And the weather was a little chilly to begin with, but we did very well. We had so many people came out, you know, the homeless that we fed, and we had so many volunteers that helped us. It was just, it was a great success. And, you know, so many people even told Mr. George, you know, of the homeless that they were just so, so happy to see him, and they were just glad that he, you know, that he came back, you know, to do for them, which I thought was just wonderful. we had a um, chiropractor that was there with us, um, Dr. Orta, and he actually was um, giving some massages, and it was really wonderful. The homeless people loved, loved it. He brought a couple of his chairs out with him. What's his first he, name? Um, Dr. Orta. What's his um, pa- Pedro. Pedro Orta. Oh, Pedro Orta. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wonderful man. Just, yeah, I just so, thought if so his giving. name was uh, like Alfred or something, he would be Dr. A. Orta. I, I just... <laughs> I just no, it's Dr. P. Orta. <laughs> <laughs> and if people have any uh, more clothing and hygiene items they wish to donate, they can go to Bob Wines Camellia oh, Gardens and Nursery and donate right there. Yes, yes, and, they sure can. They can come to us, and uh, and we're, we are still looking for it because we will be doing it next month, also the third Saturday of the month. We do it. Um, and Mr. Every George year has his own Facebook page now. That's cool. Yes, yes, we just started a Facebook page, Mr. George's Ministry, so. Yeah, somebody, I think it was you. Did you invite me to be a member? I went over there I and did. I said, hey, I invited you in I'm it. already a member. That's I, right, we I, are. I, I yes. went to click on something. I said, hey, I'm already here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I sure did. I kind of went to my friend's list and I, and I added a bunch of people that I knew would be interested in it, so yes. <laughs> what is your most favorite flower to uh, uh, plant this time of year, Lori, for yourself personally? <laughs> This time of the year, one of my favorite ones are, is definitely the camellias because the camellias are just, they're, they're like roses, but they're super easy to take care of and they bloom all through the winter months. You know, when everything else is looking so doom and gloom, and gloom the camellias are just absolutely gorgeous and, and they're still blooming well for us. And we'll be taking more pictures today 
putting them on our Facebook page of some of the real pretty ones that are blooming in the garden and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, Aww. thank you for what you do, Lori. You're an inspiration. To, well, stop. You're an inspiration to all of us. I just wanted to say, and, and thank you for what you're doing and, and for the plants. We love the plants. Appreciate it. Yeah. Go to Bob Boynton's Community Gardens and Nursery. What's the What's the address? It's 2610 Southeast 38th Street, and we're off of 17th Street and Lakeware Avenue, and we're there Monday through Friday, 9 to 4, and Saturday, 9 to 2. All right. Thank you, Lori. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All right. We'll be right back. Here is your 30-second news brief. Two Lakeware High School students died from injuries sustained in a single vehicle accident that happened Friday evening. A Sonic drive-in restaurant in Ocala was robbed Friday evening. Three state government-managed programs aimed at helping Floridians who are behind on their mortgage payments will end on January 31st. And Tallahassee mayor and candidate for Florida Governor Andrew Gillum says he wants to increase the state's corporate tax rate to the tune of $1 billion. And that is your news brief from The Source. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Monday, times of clouds and sunshine with highs ranging from the mid-70s at the coast to 81 inland. Mostly cloudy and mild Monday night, there can be a shower late, low 62 to 66. For Tuesday, mostly cloudy with a couple of showers around, especially in the afternoon at the coast. The high 72 along the coast, 79 inland.